Hey everybody, I'm out here fishing at Pretty Boy Reservoir, and if you're anything like me, you use your trolling motor for what I'm doing now, just creeping along the shoreline, working your way down, hitting spot after spot, and if you do that with your trolling motor, you know that having an infinite variable speed control is just so much nicer than having a five speed or you know, even a two-speed, which is what I've got at the moment. It's my little Water Snake T24 uh, electric outboard, and I love it. But it's only got two speeds. It's got high and low. And even if you've got a five-speed, and I've used the plenty of five-speeds in the past. I've got an Ozark Trail 30-pound thrust at home. And it's just, you know how it is. Number one is always a little too slow. Number two is just a little bit too fast. You can never get it exactly where you want it. You're always fighting between one and the other. And then, of course, if you know how speed coils work, you know how absolutely absurdly inefficient those motors are and how much juice you just waste as you creep along like this. So the answer to all those problems is having a pulse width modulator. And some of the better um, motors out there, my Minn Kota, for example, has got the pulse width modulation. And it gives you that dial where you can just go infinite variable uh, in forward and reverse, you can do infinite variable speeds. So what I did was I spent $20 on Amazon and I bought myself a little pulse width modulator and I built myself a little switch box and I got one that's actually got a forward and reverse switch on it right here. I'm assuming you can see this. So I've now got infinite variable speed control and then I can actually just switch it into reverse right there. And then I've got infinite variable speed on the reverse. And I also bought myself a little battery gauge there so I can tell what I'm doing in real time while I'm using the battery. And then I can stop and turn it off and I can see what I've got left as far as the charge on the battery. So all that's right here at my hands and all I have to do is leave this set to the on position and forward and leave it set into the high position and then I've got everything else right here. And it's a simple little control box. I'm not going to pull it out right now, but it's a little control box I've got wired in here. And when I leave, I've just got a few little plugs right here. I just unplug these quick connects, pull this out with me, take it home and disconnect the motor and I'm good to go. And in the meantime, I've got all my motor controls right up here so when I'm fishing I hook into something I can just flip a switch and go right into reverse and start moving you know pulling myself away from the shore it's just it's fantastic and then of course I've been out here uh, if you go around the bend it's a little breezier and I've been fighting the wind all day so I've been constantly adjusting my speed and that's what got me thinking about shooting this little video so if anybody wants to know how to do this i will be shooting a video in the fairly near future here on exactly how i set this up i'll leave links to the actual speed controller again i got the control unit uh, tucked up under here that's what this little uh, piece of shock cord is it's a loop under there and i've just got the little unit strapped up under there with the wires running to it so i'll do a little how-to video and show you how i hooked all this together but boy does it make a difference i am so much happier just being able to switch my motor on and off right here and then have the forward and reverse switches right there too so i'm going to get back to it it's late august and a beautiful afternoon so we should be able to get some kind of topwater action going on out here today I haven't yet but we'll see how it goes anyway make sure you're subscribed and then that way you won't miss the video that i'm going to be doing here as i said in the very near future i'll give you all the links to all the different parts and components and then i'll do a little how-to video and show you exactly how i set this up on mine i'm not a really particularly handy person when it comes to building stuff and making things this was really 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 easy to do um, if you can hook a positive and a negative wire up and screw a terminal down you know just run a screw and a screw you can do this and put this thing together and any um, non-variable speed trolling motor whether it's your little ozark trail or any of the other brands that are out there if it doesn't have the infinite variable if it's got preset speeds either one through five or in this case high and low you can get a little pulse width modulator and have infinite variable control in about half an hour after you set it up you just got to make sure you get one that's rated for the right amount of 
amperage and you got to get one that operates at a good frequency so it doesn't make a humming sound and so on and so forth so as i said make sure you're subscribed and we'll go over all this in a video coming up here in the very near future so thanks for watching again make sure you're subscribed and i'll see you real soon in the next one